Hi, today I'm going to show you how to do the resistor fix on the Trinity 9X radio. Here you can see my radio. Now I've actually already done this fix to this radio, but I did it inside the actual radio. And tonight I'm going to show you how to just modify the wireless module here. So, instead of having to crack open the whole radio. Alright, so let's go ahead. So the first thing you're going to need, Phillips head screwdriver, is to remove some of these screws. They're just two little screws on the wireless module. There's the one. There's two. Now don't lose these screws. Put them in a safe place. Here's the screw. Alright, now you got to pull this open. It should just pop off, you can see it. Now you can see inside here, here's the uh, insides of the wireless module. Now right here, you have your bind button, and you can see the traces in here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to cut one of these traces, and we're going to put a 1K ohm resistor. So this is a 603 package, and I like doing these because it, uh, you just have to cut a small bridge in the trace and it will uh, span that gap and uh, works great. Alright, so let's get to it. Alright, so the first thing you gotta do for the next step is you gotta get an X-Acto knife. The sharper the better. And the trace we're gonna be modifying is this one right here. You see here's the button and here's the trace right here. And the first thing to do with the X-Acto knife is to scrape off this green enamel. You want to get rid of the enamel and get to the copper. And the reason being is that we need a good copper surface to solder to. And you can start seeing the copper coming out there. That off. We have a nice copper spot. Alright, now the next thing we're going to do, we're gonna, actually going to cut this trace. Alright, now what I like to do when I cut a trace is to give it a nice V. And that way, cut out just a little section of copper, and you have a nice clean break in the connection. Alright. See that there? Yeah, so we did it right there. All right. So the next step is to pull out our resistor. Now I've seen some people use uh, some axial resistors, you know, like uh, like these right here. I think the uh, the surface mount resistors give a better result. Now, a lot of people are scared of working with surface mount, but really it's not that difficult if you have the right tools. Alright. So we just want to take one of these 1K resistors. Oh, let's see. Where are my tweezers? Right. Take a pair of tweezers. And make sure you can grab the 603 resistor. So next you want a nice clean tip on your soldering iron. Gonna put a little bit of solder on and clean it off. You can use a sponge. I like these uh, brass uh, what, steel wool. It's a nice clean tip. All right. Now what I like to do is I like to put one side and tin it. Beware of the fumes. Alright, so we take our resistor and we solder down one side. It should stay in place, but if you want, you can hold down a little down pressure on the resistor. Touch the side just to make sure that it sits flat. Alright, so the next thing we want to do, get a clean tip again. 
solder down the other side. Make sure. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Alright. There we go. That's the resistor fix. Alright. We'll put away our soldering iron. And I just need to uh, close up the box. Now, if you want more information on this resistor fix, you can feel free to check my blog, RC Shenanigans at blogspot.com. I have full details, explanation of why you actually need to do this resistor fix. Anyway, so there's that. So, plug that back in. All right. My next fix is going to be to move this uh, coax cable and move the antenna so that this is a completely removable module because otherwise it is kind of annoying. Alright, let me turn it on. So now, if all is well, we have a working radio still. So. Hurrah!